don't you have any concerns about his conduct? I mean, all the allegations, the criminal charges, he's admitted to lying about so much of his life. I mean, why should he be walking around here going to classify briefings and the like? To say that anybody in Congress can cast stones. I mean, we're, we're a bunch of sinners, and that's basically what we all are. Okay, fair enough. Thank you, Congressman. We're all a bunch of sinners. That's from MAGA Republican Tim Burchett. I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. Folks, this MAGA Republican stuff is out of control. I want to hear from the Alien Super Show to get their take on it. Your favorite show here on the Midas Touch Network. Play the clip. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. I'll keep this very brief. Uh, I myself have been a victim of George Santos and as well <laughs> me as too. Other members of It's Congress a Me Too story. Public <laughs> donation. You, sir, are a crook. I know I should direct my comments to the chair. I yield back. <laughs> Republican on Republican crime is a serious problem in this country. <laughs> they want to talk a lot about Chicago, but yeah. they need to look in their own backyard. I they think. are hog wild out here. <laughs> my colleague wants to come up here, call me a crook. Same colleague who's accused of being a woman beater. <laughs> Are we, are we really going to ignore the facts that we all have passed? We all beat the shit out of women. <laughs> we all are criminals. <laughs> this guy behind him when he said that. <laughs> yeah. Anybody else hearing this? <laughs> I know we all think this is white noise and we tune it out because everything has become so crazy. But what did he just say? <laughs> he went down swinging. Yeah. <laughs> swinging like a woman yeah. here. <laughs> so he's gone. Who's up next in our Republican criminal showcase? I think we're working our way up from petty crimes to war crimes. And I hope that everyone's reaction to his passing is to go learn a little bit more about him that you didn't know before. Hmm. Uh, around your dinner table or oh, okay. when you're driving in the car with your kids, tell them a few Kissinger co- quotes. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, it's time I told you about Henry Kissinger. <laughs> and how he saved Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any graver, more nightmarish scenario than being a child of a Republican in this country? You All you want to do is go to soccer and you have to go with your parents who are going to be like, here are my top nine Henry Kissinger quotes. Mommy, I just want to watch Bluey. And then he said, bomb anything that moves. Well, his callous spirit lives on in Ron DeSantis. We're going to leave him stone cold dead at the border. We're going to shoot him stone cold dead. Stone cold okay. dead. A guy who stands here who's been out on the Republican debate stage saying, well, he's going to be tough. He's going to shoot people with backpacks. <laughs> Look at him smile. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep, that's me. I'm the genius who came up with that focus tested line. The consultant in his ear is like, do not stop smiling yeah. right now. Just smile. Okay, now tilt your head. Do not change your smile. Change it a little bit, but not too much. This debate is happening in Georgia. And when they interviewed Georgia diners beforehand, one woman was like, ma'am, what do you want to discuss at the debate tonight? The economy. The economy. Why the economy? Well, well, you know, we've been hit hard, mm-hmm. uh, especially in the South, I believe. So I think that it's Im- it's important that we bring that economy up. Bring it up. What the hell? <laughs> Are you talking about the economy in the Republican-led South not doing so great? <laughs> Could not be worse analysis. What is the value? Here's an idea. Help the economy by actually ordering something <laughs> at this time. There's a lot of empty tables. More free water, ma'am, you f- Grifter, you want some ketchup packets to take home? They want you to take them. Although it is one of the better Marty McFly cosplays I've seen. <laughs> Thankfully, Fox News has other brilliant political analysis. Let's go over to Montana. That's John Tester, farmer guy. Farmer guy. Wants to be an everyman. Aspirational everyman. Wants to be an everyman. Dude's missing fingers from a meat grinding accident on his family farm. But Tim She, he uh, served our country. He is a Navy SEAL, and if you look at his campaign videos he is he's like central casting he has this beautiful, wife, this casting. beautiful children right. and horses in every picture Wait, Matt what? Rosendale, <laughs> horses. that's his platform a horse in every picture <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst election analysis you could ever get it's so <laughs> pathetic he's wearing a jean shirt unbuttoned straight out of central casting central casting is not a compliment it's literally the thing that the dumbest person who's ever been in public office in our country donald trump said about people he could couldn't remember their names. Look at that guy, central casting. Central casting, glasses. Senator Tester is more like, you know, character actor. Yeah, it's basically Walter Sobchak.
Novak versus a guy from a Hallmark movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. A guy who dry humps his girlfriend in a Hallmark movie. <laughs> Dailymail.com caught Biden sucking on what looks like a milkshake through a straw. Now, little advice for grown men. If you want to enjoy a milkshake or anything with a straw, please do it in private. <laughs> men should never suck anything through a straw. <laughs> I don't, and that's it. I don't even like <laughs> what the I've never heard of this as a comment on men. Even Joe Rogan would be like, that is way too homophobic. <laughs> Real men gulp it down. Real men take it down the throat. Everyone knows the manly way to drink a milkshake is to open your mouth, stare up into the sky, and douse it all over your face. No, you're supposed to use your fist. You have to punch into the milkshake and then you have to lick your fist <laughs> afterwards. No, no, no. You load it into a pistol and then <laughs> shoot it into your mouth. <laughs> it's the ultimate brain freeze. It's the only way. And well, you I agree know. with me about men drinking out of straws in public, right? He has no idea what the f*** is <laughs> Oh, 100%. I'll jump it's, on board uh, with that real that, fast. What did I just get bullied into agreeing to that I shouldn't be using any straws <laughs> now? What, what about boba tea? That was the one joy that Charlie Hurt had. <laughs> the joy. It's unbecoming. While we're at it, real men don't say unbecoming either. <laughs> the way a man's lips purse. No. Straws are for women and little kids. This is an amazing data point for the Biden administration because there's no Biden scandals here. Strawgate. Ben Strawzy. The Pentagon paper straw. Straws. The final straw man argument. This is nothing. Biden is doing well enough that Jesse Waters has to do you look gay for drinking a milkshake. <laughs> that is crazy. I mean, Jesse Waters is really having a moment right now. Yeah, something weird is happening. What is the moment he's having? Is there a popularity surge? No, in it's just no. he's making a lot of strange. Oh, he's just saying shit. I would literally call them personal rants. Dog bites me. <laughs> this, this is real stock Twice. footage of the bite happening. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Zoom in on that. What Zoom in. is this? And what I never like to is him. this? I my mother has raised me so well, I'm worried how she's feeling. That's how well-mannered I am. My mother raised me so well, I treat women so well. <laughs> Didn't he like joke about meeting his girlfriend by letting the air out of her tires? When I was trying to get Emma to date me, yeah. uh, <laughs> first thing I did, I uh, let the air out of her tires. That's not a joke. She like you can tell that. Go yeah. anywhere. That's she needed a, a lift. Man. I said, hey, you need a lift? She copped right in the she, car. <laughs> she had no choice. Just to be clear, He's talking about a Fox News associate producer. All right, so she was 25 years old at the time, working directly under Jesse. Oh. Jesse was married or recently divorced. He was married and started to have the affair. Fantastic. And then after they notified Fox of their relationship, the wife filed for divorce. Unbelievable. So Jesse Waters, he's the new host of the 8 p.m. hour, the most coveted of airtimes on Fox. Also, big shoes to fill. Mm -hmm. Bill O'Reilly, whose sexual assaults cost $32 million. Yeah. Like, that is a lot to yeah. live up to. Yeah. <laughs> like Jesse Waters is trying. Yeah. One of our producers on the show who's a guy. So I'm not hitting I on him. Yeah. <laughs> he had the hiccups the How other day. How repressed is and this said, mother? Men cannot have the hiccups. Men should not have involuntary <laughs> body <Yeah>. functions. <laughs> He's so evolved. Honestly, men breathing through your dainty little nose. Real men mouth breathe, all right? I don't blink. What do you think this is? Butterfly yeah. kisses? <laughs> and I say this with a unblemished <laughs> record of heterosexuality. <laughs> He looks good. What word was he trying to say? I thought he was trying to say suck, suck anything <laughs> through a straw. <laughs> so how much mm -hmm. money do you believe the Biden family has pocketed at this point? Oh, well, it's north of 50 million, the amount of money that we're talking about that we've seen in suspicious activity reports, the amount of money that's been. Hiya, thanks for tuning in. If you like the show, help us keep this spaceship going. Subscribe to our YouTube channel or drop a comment. We read them all. If you really like the show, subscribe to our Patreon where we share bonus content that didn't make it on this episode. Okay, gotta go. Thank you. Bye.